Hey doodlers, I hope life is treating you well. I had created a video, I don't know, maybe about a year ago, telling you guys where to get free fonts and graphics with commercial use license so that you can bring them into Doodly and be able to use stuff like that, again, for free. I want to preface this video by saying that since then, Doodly has actually come out with a with a, a specific channel on YouTube showing you guys all of the official Doodly tutorials. I would highly recommend checking that out. I will have that link in the description box. What I'm showing you guys is just some different things, you know, different little creative things that I've sort of noticed over time and I'm kind of sharing the knowledge with you, okay? Um, and hopefully it'll be a nice little compliment to the official Doodly tutorial videos. So. In that video that I told you about, I had introduced you guys to a website called Creative Fabrica. And yes, you would have to create a free account. I'll have a link to the description. I'll have a link to that in the description box of this video. And again, you don't actually have to purchase anything. That's the beauty of it, because we all know this stuff can get a little bit costly. But once you do create the free account, you can go right here to freebies. Um, you'd be able to get SVGs. And even if you got like a PNG or a JPEG or something like that, um, you'd be able to still bring that stuff into Doodly. You would have to create the draw paths yourself versus the SVGs where the draw paths are already in there with you. And I have videos on that as well. And I'll link to those also, whether it's in the description box or in the cards. Okay, but we're going to get right to it. Okay, less than two minutes in. So right now, I am on Creative Fabrica's website, and as you can see here, you can download resources for free, or again, you can come up here. What I ended up doing is I went here, and what you'll see is you'll see um, a list, or a grid, rather, of different freebies that you can have here, okay? And they'll tell you, like, how long you have. So in this case, I actually grabbed this one. I wanted to see what it looked like. Okay, and it'll be gone in 96 days and 10 hours and 9 minutes and 56 seconds. That's important. No, it's not really. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Okay, now I already downloaded it, but again, you know, if you create the free account, you can go ahead and download it. All right, it's going to show up in a zip file. And as you can see here, it'll tell you what comes in it. Okay, so you get the SVG file, you get the transparent PNG. Both of these would work in Doodly. I did try to bring this in. You would have to, um, you'd have to reduce the size of it. Like I said, I have another video on that. You'll probably see it in the card section here. Okay, possibly the end screen. If not, I'll link to it somewhere. But anyway, otherwise, it's like you know they do. Yeah, they do have their paid stuff. But again, I'm showing you the free goods. All right. So I downloaded it, I went ahead, I extracted the zip file, and I opened up Doodly here. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to create a new video. I love Glassboard, and we're just going to go ahead, I will choose the resolution here, okay, and we'll create. All right, so what we're going to do, all right, we're just going to go to Props. We'll bring that in. Okay, so as you can see here, the Dream Big Little One SVG, all you have to do is open it. And this is one of the updates that uh, Doodly had created since I had purchased this program, is I don't have to name these things now. It just brings it in. It's already named. It saves me time, and I love it. Continue. All right, so what we're going to do here, all right, before I start expanding the size of this, which is easy enough, I'm going to go right here to Edit. And because this is an SVG, I'm going to load the paths. Okay. And here is where you can make some adjustments. You can, if you add a new path, that is. If you want to, actually, I think this is path one, which is already highlighted. So if you wanted to take, say, path one and increase the size, you can do something like that there. You can alter the uh, animation time. All right, you can always create a new path and add some more lines, but as you can see here, there's a whole bunch already put in, okay? We're gonna go ahead and save and return. Now I will make this bigger. Okay, 
And I'm going to put that, I'm just going to kind of situate that one right there. Okay. So, as you can see here, the duration time is about three seconds. I can save it. And then if we wanted to preview what that looks like. So, because I already have this situated in this way, okay, there's actually two things that you can do here. But whatever it is you've done with this, it's going to show up as this as well. Okay, but I wanted to show you something else. Okay, because this is also something that it, it's it's a little newer since um, I had first started playing with this program. So as you can see, yeah, here. So what I've already done with this is already here. Okay, so we're going to return without saving and you're going to see why I am doing this, showing this to you. Okay, so I am going to quickly rename this one. And you'll see why in a second. Drawn. There we go. Now I'm going to bring this in again. Okay. And I'm just going to add dated. All right. Because you're going to... SVG not found. Okay. So let's... Let's just go ahead and do this and I'll change the title dated don't know why I capitalized it and so what we're going to do here okay is we're going to fade that okay save and return so what we have here is we have the same animation all right and again, you have a duration here of three seconds. But what's going to happen is you'll see you have the same, the same design showing up in two different ways in your video, which is really cool if you, because now you have a choice. All right, you have a choice as to how you want to display your graphic. So I'm actually, this is pretty much what I wanted to show you. Okay. This is what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you where you can get free cool stuff that you can bring into Doodly, how you can bring it in, and how you can display the free graphic in a couple of different ways. And that took no time. In fact, most of this video was me yapping and showing <laughs> to tell you what to do. Okay, so guys, I hope you find this helpful. I, like I said, I just wanted to kind of create this video for you and just give you another cool little tool that you can use with Doodly. And again, this will cost you nothing. All right. So, and that's what I kind of get excited about. I love to show you guys where to get free stuff so that you can use whenever, because we all know the stuff adds up. All right. So perfect for anyone wanting to, uh, and this, these are all SVGs, by the way. And I, I say any of these, I've seen some of them work better than others, okay? Like, for example, um, we'll download this one. We've got 66 days left, so we want to make sure we hurry, all right? All right, I downloaded that. Let's bring it into Doodly. Let's open up another screen here. All right. Here we go. Sorry about that. So we're going to go ahead. We'll load these up. Might take a second. Very good. And let's see how it looks. There you go. All right, guys. So just a little something for free to help you guys add some different graphics, some different cool things into your videos, okay? I hope you guys found this helpful and feel free to check out the playlist. I've got a playlist full of really cool little doodly tips and tricks that I have, you know, just kind of discovered over time. And again, always check out the official Doodly tutorials because they're going to teach you how to use this program properly. And I have seen some other doodlers, you know, creating some really cool videos as well. 
All right. So I hope this finds you well. And until next time, take care.